Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review, figure-ish review. Um, here we have the Diamond Select Toys, the Marvel Mini Mates. These are the brand new Walgreens exclusive, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier and Captain America, John Walker, AKA US Agent 2-pack, as well as the Falcon and Baron Zemo 2-pack. So the internet went crazy, and I say the internet went crazy when, not really, but um, on Twitter, on Instagram, there were so many reposts of everybody using um, the picture that was sent to me by Vintage Man on Instagram. He found them at his local Walgreens, and he sent me pictures of it, and then I reposted. Those pictures kind of went everywhere. People were talking about it. A couple of YouTubers, some fairly big channels had used, one of them used my picture um, or the picture that was sent to me, another video channel, comic book cast, they were actually talked about it in one of their videos. Um, so I was actually, I was actually able to find them myself in store tonight, uh, which is pretty cool. So, um, I decided to do a review for you guys. You know, I, I'm not much of a Mini Mates collector. I have all the MCU Spider-Man ones though. Um, kind of sad they didn't actually make any for Far From Home though, did they? I might have to look into that. I don't know if maybe I just missed them, but I have several from Homecoming and then Avengers Infinity War. I have the Iron Spider, stuff like that. So that's the only comparison you guys are going to get because that's the only, those are the only mini mates that I have. Um, but we're going to go over both of the two packs here. Winter Soldier, Captain America, John Walker. And the big news of that was that John Walker is going to be called Captain America in the Disney Plus TV series. Um, and he will not be called U.S. agent, or maybe at some point he'll be called U.S. agent, not really sure. But we kind of knew the details that the government was going to want John Walker to be Captain America. They don't want Falcon to be Captain America. So it's interesting how that storyline is really going to play out. Uh, but we'll go from there. And then, of course, Baron Zemo in his classic comic book inspired mask. Uh, but let's uh, get to it. Open these two packs up and take a look at these figures. Okay, so there was this insert that actually came in the package. So some of these I've actually seen. So this Avengers Black Panther quest. So you have uh, Peggy Carter and Captain America, Black Panther, and Shuri. I have actually seen these in stores, as well as the Spider-Man Maximum Venom. So you get the Venom, um, Venomized Spider-Man, Venomized Hulk, and Venomized Captain America. I have seen this particular two-pack. No, you know what? I have seen both of them in Walgreens as well. So those are new also. And here is a look at all the accessories and things that come with it. So you have Falcon's wings there. You have this awesome-looking flight stand that comes with it. Baron Zemo does have the mask and it's actually just a mask piece that's going to go over his head. You remove the hair and then put the mask on so that's pretty cool. I thought it was just going to be a different head but it is not. Um, and then here you have uh, John Walker so you can actually remove the helmet and put his hair piece on there and look at that he does come with a little pistol there so that is pretty cool. So let's get these out and zoom in and take a closer look at these guys. Okay, here are the Marvel Mini Mates out of the package, and these aren't for everybody. There's um, kind of a niche market that collects Marvel Mini Mates. I do have all the Spider-Man MCU ones, so Peter Parker, um, the different versions of Spider-Man, his different suits, that kind of thing. Um, but there are some collectors that can do amazing things with these Marvel Mini Mates. So uh, a good buddy of mine, We Are Figures, he actually used to do some figure photography using Marvel Mini Mates, and he used to actually have some pretty dope shots um, of them in action. So there are some things that can be done. To me, they're just fun little figures. It, to me, it would only be kind of those... Um, I would only collect my favorite character or characters kind of thing or follow maybe a certain theme. Um, and that would be it for me. But I know for a lot of folks, this is kind of um, kind of a big thing because there's, you know, the different character selections and they do go into a lot of different detail. And for this particular set, we actually kind of get our first look at um, the different suits. I mean, we kind of had some images and things like that, but we kind of get a better look at it. You know, the, the show was supposed to be was supposed to have premiered already, but we know that due to the pandemic things got delayed and we don't know exactly when the show will release we know that they are still finishing filming in Prague um, so it'll be interesting to see when that's going to come out but the way marketing and everything works merchandise still goes out on time um, th some things may have been delayed kind of thing but some of these things were probably just too far along in the process they could they, they couldn't they couldn't stop it you know, Eternals, that merchandise they were able to stop, but for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I guess they just could not stop these Marvel Mini Mates from hitting the store. So we'll actually go through one by one. So we'll go over the two-pack with Falcon and Baron Zemo. Then we'll go over the two-pack with Winter Soldier and um, Captain America. Uh, so we'll move those out of the way, and we'll take a closer look at Baron Zemo and Falcon. Okay, so zoomed in close on these guys. So every figure, every Marvel Mini Mates figure comes with this little disc stand. As you can see, there's a peg on there that can you can 
uh, peg their feet into. Now Falcon's really cool because he comes with this little flight stand, so it just kind of pegs into his foot. It doesn't really do a whole lot. I know that they have done different designs for some flight stands, like uh, the Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming had a different design uh, flight stand, which I think would have been really cool, but for this particular one, you just kind of plug in his feet because they're kind of like that Lego type design. You just see a big old peg hole at the bottom of his foot. But looking at Falcon, the details of this thing are really cool. I really like the design. You get more of a classic comic book inst inspired suit for Falcon this go around. You actually have like the Falcon logo there on his chest. And that looks really cool. So I like the way the paint and everything uh, came along on there. We actually get some nice details in the um, in his suit. And that's all just painted on because there's nothing special in terms of sculpt or anything like that. So it is all paint and all looks really good. I really like the wings. You get that nice silver paint on there with the red paint on the black plastic. So that looks really good. You know, this backpack piece that holds the wings. It's done in this red color there. And they just port and slide on in there like so. So you can remove them and you can just plug them right back in. No problem. And that looks really good. Looking at... The side of his arm and everything looks really nice. And what, another thing that's really cool, he has the goggles on there, and they are removable. So here we have Sam Wilson, our Anthony Mackie head sculpt there. Something that even Hasbro couldn't give us with uh, a Falcon um, Sam Wilson figure without goggles. So Mini Mates has that, so you can put them right back on. And they are tr red translucent plastic for the lenses. And then you can just take them off as needed. So that is really cool. That looks great. We'll go over the articulation of this guy. They're going to be the same for all the figures, so we're probably just going to go over it for the one um, on him. They are all on there by ball joint, so they can come apart, but then you just clip them right back in. So the shoulder, you're only going to get the shoulder to go out that uh, far. You can get a full rotation going on in there. You have a single jointed elbow, as you can see there, which gives you a 90 degree bend. The hands do swivel. They don't really do a whole lot else on there. The head is on a ball joint, so you get some head pivot, all kinds of circular motion, everything. Looking up is that much. Looking down is actually quite a bit. So that is actually really awesome. There is no ab crunch, of course, but you do have a waist swivel there, so we can swivel around. The legs kind of go out a little bit. You can get them to go out that much, but that's going to be it. He can kick forward all the way straight out. The leg will go back a little bit, as you can see there. You get a single jointed knee, which gives you a perfect 90 degree there. And then there is a swivel at the foot. There's not gonna be any kind of pit ankle pivot or anything uh, like that there. So really good articulation on these guys, but they're just fun little figures that look cool. So there is the Falcon. We'll put him off to the side. We'll take a look at our Baron Zemo, played by Daniel Brule, I think is how you say his name. So we get that jacketed look to it, and that is really cool. But if you look at the side, you get this large slit there, so you can actually just remove the jacket, kind of like so. So if you wanted him to not have the jacket, but the problem is his sleeves are the jacketed sleeves. But I wanted to show you kind of the detail in the sweater um, because that is going to match his, um, his mask. So that is pretty cool. To do that, you just pop the hair out, which actually has his ears painted on in there. So that is pretty cool. So you give him a bald look there, and then you slip on his mask, which is the classic comic book inspired look. You want to... well. You want to get it straight on there so his eyes kind of match up. They do come apart, by the way. So I didn't quite get that. Oh, and it's a little difficult to get off once you get it on. So I popped his head off. The You can remove those. So you can kind of move them around between figures and kit bash all you want. So I kind of centered it on there. Not the greatest, but that is how the mask look for Baron Zemo is. And it's all exciting because he gets the mask in the show because he did not have that in... Um, Civil War, unfortunately, and I think that was one of the big complaints of that movie is that he didn't have his comic book looked where he would have the mask. So um, I think the show rectifies that. You know, it's not the purpose that they went for to do that, but you know, that's one of the benefits that you have of bring, bringing back um, other characters that don't get killed off. So there is Zemo. That looks really cool. Now let's check out the other two pack. 
Oh, by the way, I did fix it, so there he is, eyes straight on, that, that looks really good. Okay, so here we're gonna start with the Winter Soldier. Now, unfortunately, the Winter Soldier does not come with any kind of accessories whatsoever, so he is rather plain as his foot is tight onto that stand and just came right off at the ankle. So they come apart, they put, go back together quite easily. Looking at the design of his jacket, uh, which gives it kind of the comic book look, I think it strays a little bit away from it here, whereas like Civil War and the Winter Soldier really kind of um, gave it a more accurate look to the comics, but this looks pretty good. You know, he has shorter hair in the show compared to what he has had in the previous movies. You see he has his vibranium arm that he got courtesy of T'Challa and Shuri in Avengers Infinity War, so that's kind of the darker gray with the gold lining, so that looks really good. He's got a little bit of scruff on his face, so that is pretty good. He has the same articulation that like Zemo and Falcon have, so nothing special with him. But I think we, what we all want to see is the John Walker Captain America, aka US agent. So we don't have like official details or anything like that, but we know that the government's plan is to have their own Captain America and not use Sam Wilson, especially not Bucky Barnes. Um, so that's going to be the story. First thing, we're going to look at the shield. That is the accurate shield to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier because at the very end of Avengers Endgame, when Sam um, is given the shield from Steve, it is not the same shield that Steve had. It has a slightly different design on it. So like these little notches right there in the silver portions, Steve's shield did not have that. These cut-ins, these lines in the star... Steve's shield did not have those same lines, so that is how you could tell that this is different. Marvel Legends is releasing a prop replica, the roleplay gear, of this particular design of shield, and I am very excited to get that, um, as well as the Stormbreaker, which EE is already starting to process those, so hopefully I will have mine uh, pretty soon. So looking at John Walker, the design of the suit I really like. You can see how it is very Captain America inspired and it is similar, similar to the US agent look uh, from the comics. That was a black suit, but here we get a blue suit with red, but the design of like the, the flag-ish with the red lines and the star there is very reminiscent to US agent in the comics. So that looks really good. I really like the details and all the lines that they put into like his costume, like on the legs and the arms and things. All looks really good. We get an American flag there, American flag there. Really nice the way they do it. He came, um, in addition to the shield, he actually came with a little pistol gun. So he has that holster there on his right leg and the gun just slips in there no problem and then to hold it you just slip it right on into the slit of a hand that they have these things are tiny and my hands and fingers are huge you just kind of slip it in forward there and then he holds the gun like so so that is pretty cool that they have it it's tiny don't lose it because that'll be very very easy to lose and it just fits in the holster very easily like so the other cool thing is he does come with a hairpiece so if you wanted to remove this captain america ish helmet you simply just pull it off like so there is the john walker and we have this donald trump looking hairpiece here we're going to slip that on there and boom we have our john walker and that i think doesn't look that good but I think the actor and I don't know his name I think he does have blonde hair uh, one thing that is weird though and I'm looking at they gave his face a very glossy look to it whereas the other figures didn't get that gloss so I'm not sure why he's got it he's, he's very shiny so he has that gloss look so I'm not a big fan of the look with the hair I really like the way it looks with the helmet on as I line it up and that looks really good. So there is our John Walker, Captain America, AKA US agent, how that will play off in the show. Who knows whether he will be US agent and then they call him Captain America or if he drops it at the end and just goes by US agent or what the plan is going to be for the show. But I'll be very interested and can't wait to see how it will play out. And then for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, I just threw in the Spider-Man that I have. I do have several, I have Spider-Man, Spider-Man, I have another Spider-Man, an Iron Spider, and a Peter Parker. Um, so the different uh, Spider-Mans that they came, they think there's like a Battle Damage one, the Homecoming one, the Homemade Suit, Iron Spider, all of that. But they are all the same size, so they don't really look at scale unless there's a larger character like the Hulk or Venom tend to have a bigger body. But for the most part, all the other figures use the same exact body. So they all have the same articulation scheme, all of that. It's just they actually put some nice detail into the paint to represent the suits. So that is all really cool. 
Okay, so that was the review. You guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on these figures. Are these things that you're going to be picking up? Does it kind of build up the hype a little bit? Because we've gone so long without anything MCU in 2020. It's driving me absolutely nuts. And we are so close to the point where we don't get anything MCU in 2020, which would be absolutely insane. But hopefully WandaVision does actually release in December like it's apparently rumored to release. I hope it comes sooner than later right now would have been an awesome time for it to come so i am very excited this does help kind of get that mcu hype going for me as an mcu collector um i'm just going crazy because there hasn't been any mcu figures or anything so i just needed something so i wanted to pick these up um it's very interesting with the whole captain america concept to john walker u.s agent or whatever it's going to be in the show so there is your first look at the marvel mini mates figure of how he will look in the show because these things have always been pretty accurate to act to the suits and everything in the show there's a quicker turnaround time compared to like legends and other figures for these mini mates so they can get them very accurate to the show or to the movie the final production designs so there it is if you guys like this video do me a favor hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already done so share hit the notification bell so you know when all new videos go up and as always guys appreciate it thank you for watching